What's going on, my ASVAB party people? Anderson here, your ASVAB coach, and I want to make sure that you have exactly what you need to crush this problem in more than just one way. Because look, this is a very short problem. We have what, one, two, three, four, five, six words? Well, actually four words if you take away the numbers. So this is a very straightforward problem. This is about calculating, but I want to show you more than one way to do it. That way you're not looking at this as if, oh man, I only know how to do it this one way and if they give it to me another way, I have no idea what to do. That's what we want to avoid. We need to avoid those situations because at the end of the day, the ASVAB is not about getting the problem correct. It's about getting it correct as quickly as possible to give yourself more time for the other problems. So let's go ahead and get to it here. But in case you didn't know, well, I have a free class once a week. And if today is Monday and you're watching this video, there's a free class. So you need to go ahead and sign your butt up right there. Look at that over there, the bottom left corner, right over here, right over here. There's a free class, 6 p.m. Eastern time for two whole hours for free again on ASVAB Math. So go ahead, use that link right there or the link in the description of this video to register because it includes a bonus free practice test with guess what? Video solutions. You don't typically find video solutions for free practice tests anywhere for the ASVAB. So go ahead and take advantage of it because it's going to be yours truly walking you through every mistake that you could possibly make and how to get better and grow from those mistakes. So let's go ahead and crush this so I can show you exactly what I'm about. So we have what is 150 decreased by 40%. Okay, how do we get this done? Well, here's the thing. There are two main ways to get this done. One of them is actually a lot faster than the other. So one way to do this is to figure out what 40% is and then increase 150 by it. That's one way to do it. The other way is to notice that, hey, we're talking about percents and if you're increasing something by a certain percent, you're increasing from 100%. Remember, you need to know this always for percents. 100% is the original number, is the original number. So 150 is really saying that's 100%. That is called the 100% of this situation. So if we're increasing by 40%, what we would do is we would say, hey, if this is the 100% and you're increasing, adding 40%, really what you're doing is, bam, you're taking 140% of that 150. That's exactly what you're doing. And so if you can see it that way, you can save yourself the time of finding out what 40% of 150 is and then adding it back to 150. These two processes are the exact same in terms of the outcome, but this one much, much faster, much faster. So I'll go ahead and show you both. Let me go ahead and show you both. But remember, I got to advertise it again. Free classes on Mondays and a free practice test. Don't waste your time. You got this. Sign up for it. Watch that welcome video and kick some butt. But here we go. Over here, 140% of 150. As a reminder, whenever you're taking a percentage, you have to turn that percent into a decimal. So this 140% turns into 1.4. And then you're going to say that of is going to turn into times, and that'll be 150. For those of you that understand uh, percents and mental math, this is a little trick that you can use as well to give yourself an even easier time. Notice that we have a decimal here. I don't want to deal with decimals. So what I can do is this. I can say this or you know how you have to move the decimal place two times over to the left? You could move this decimal place over one time and move that one over one time. What I'm saying is, is that 1.4 times 150 is the same as 14 times 15. They're the same thing. They're the same exact thing. Absolutely. Don't believe me? Calculate it both ways. I'm going to calculate it this way. You calculate it that way and you tell me. So here we go. 15 times 14. This will be super straightforward. Five times four is 20. One times four is four. Carry that two, you get six. Bring a zero down. 15 times one, that's gonna be 15. Add these together and you get yourself 210. And there's your answer. But again, I'm not done. Don't leave yet. I need to show you the other way here. So if you wanted to do it this way, you would go ahead and just straight up calculate. 40% of 150. So that would turn into 0 0.4 times 150, or you can call that four times 15. Again, if you're just gonna go and move one there and move one there, you can turn it into four times 15, that's fine. But long story short, 
if you do 15 times 4, what's going to happen is you'll get 60. And then if you take that 150 and you add the 60, you get 210. So either way, either way, you can still get that 210, either way. But you have to ask yourself, am I prepared to pick the fastest method for myself on test day? If you only know one way, then the answer is no, you're not prepared. But if you know it more than one way, understanding that percent increases and decreases are all based off of 100%, you give yourself that better shot. And so my ASVAB party person, again, I'm Coach Anderson. I'm more than happy to help you succeed. And if you have any questions on how to raise your score for the ASVAB outside of everything I have here on YouTube and you want more, there's my phone number. It's 567-698-8867. I'm always more than happy to speak with you. If you want to text me as well in case I'm not available because I'm filming videos like this, go ahead. But I'm here to help you succeed. So take advantage of the help, join one of my free classes, or if you don't have time for the classes or you're working and you have a tough schedule, my full program gives you all the recordings. So all of those links and descriptions are in the description of this video. Please go ahead, click those links, check it out. That way you can put yourself in a position to get that job you want and that military career that you've been really salivating for. So let's haste the ASVAB. I'll see you soon, my party people. Let's get cracking and let's haste the ASVAB. Cheers.